Hi, I'm Greg Cummings, pharmacist and host of Pharmacy Pearls. Antibiotics are used to treat infections caused by bacteria or germs. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria change in such a way that antibiotics become less effective or even not effective at all. In such a situation, common infections may become very difficult to treat. In this edition of Pharmacy Pearls, I'll share the common causes of antibiotic resistance, as well as several tips for practicing good antibiotic stewardship in order to help manage this serious problem. First of all, let's review the basic process by which antibiotic resistance occurs. When bacteria first come in contact with an antibiotic, the weaker bacteria die first, followed by the stronger bacteria. If strong bacteria are left behind, due to reasons we'll discuss momentarily, they can begin to multiply, producing more and more strong bacteria. Over time, this process repeats itself, and a ratcheting effect occurs, until we are left with bacteria so strong that they are now resistant to the antibiotic. In antibiotic resistance, bacteria will change in some way. For example, they may learn to combat an antibiotic by breaking it down or preventing it from attaching to a site it needs to work. Bacteria that become resistant to several different antibiotics are called superbugs. Many things contribute to antibiotic resistance. Perhaps the biggest contributing factor is the improper use and disposal of antibiotics. For instance, taking an antibiotic when it is not needed such as in the case of a viral or fungal infection, treating a bacterial infection with the wrong antibiotic or at the wrong dose, stopping an antibiotic too soon, or using an antibiotic that was prescribed for someone else. Additionally, antibacterial cleaning products used in the home can also lead to antibiotic resistance. Use plain soap instead. It has been shown to be just as good at killing bacteria and is much safer in this regard. Finally, using antibiotics to promote growth or prevent illness in animals can generate resistance in animal bacteria that can later be transmitted to humans. In order to prevent antibiotic resistance, it is important to promote good antibiotic stewardship by following these best practices. Ask your doctor if antibiotics are the right treatment for you or your child. Remember that most infections, like the common cold or flu, are caused by viruses and should not be treated with antibiotics. For certain illnesses, point-of-care testing may be available to distinguish between infections caused by bacteria or viruses, such as in the case of rapid antigen testing for suspected strep throat. If an antibiotic is needed, always take it at the prescribed dose and for the full duration. Never stop an antibiotic early even if you are feeling better before it's finished. Never use an antibiotic that was prescribed to someone else. If you have old antibiotics left over in your home, take them to your pharmacy for safe disposal. Never flush them down the toilet or pour them down the sink, as they may wind up in the water supply. And as mentioned earlier, use plain soaps or household cleaners instead of ones labeled antibacterial. Thank you so much for watching. As a pharmacist, antibiotic resistance is an issue that's near and dear to my heart. I hope that it is for you too. For more pharmacy pearls like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.